saying, you raise your hand up, the Spirit of God can now say, daughter, I'm going to help you with this. And you're never going to know that rejection again. Amen. Give God praise. Amen. Come on, man. God don't want you to be rejected. No, we're not rejected. We're part of the family of God. Amen. Look at somebody say, we're family. We're family. We're family, man. We've all been washed in the blood. Thanks, God. It's got to say amen to everything. Uh, we've all been washed in the blood. Amen. We all have the same Holy Ghost. Amen. Who's got the Fooly Ghost? Oh, you hear anybody speak? Better not have the Fooly Ghost. Let's keep going. And then he says, again, verse 16, He who re hears me, he who hears you hears me. Let's, let's have, let's let them hear Jesus in us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. See, just like the, my beautiful wife was up there sharing with you, that, that was blowing, man. Mm -hmm. Boom. That was Jesus speaking through her. He who hears you, hears me. He who rejects you, rejects me. And he who rejects me, rejects him who sent me. Where does that go to? God. Amen. You rejected God. Amen. Oh, my God. Who wants to reject God? want to reject God? No. Man, come on. Now, here we go. I'm 17 through 20, and I'm done. Here we go. Then the 70 returned from their mission trip, from their time of ministry. Then the 70 returned with joy. Everybody shout joy. Joy! No, not like the missionaries today. Yeah. Some of them, they return, say, man, I almost got killed by the devil, and oh, man, I'm oh, no, you return with joy. Yes, These guys return with joy. Why? They heal the sick. Yes. They preach the gospel. Steve, yes. man, they return with joy. Yes. They return with joy. Wait, wait, watch what happens. Watch. I love this, man. Then they suddenly return with joy saying, Lord, even the demons, devils, yes. are subject to us yes. in your name. Give God praise, somebody. Whoa. Give him praise, man. Got to take my note out of my wallet so I don't forget it. Watch. He says, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Now, the word subject in the Greek is hupotasso. That means to subordinate, to obey, be under obedience, submit. That's what that word means. Yeah, subject. Yeah. So, ooh, the devil don't want none of you to hear this. Every demon spirit. Yeah, right. Every. You'd be happy. Yes, amen. Everybody say every. 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 every demon spirit is subject to you. Yeah, Everyone that's watching this YouTube, Facebook, whatever, I want you to know that you have power in the name of Jesus Amen. and that every demon uh, every demon in hell must submit to you under that name. Amen. Give God praise. Yeah. But, 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 hold on. There's a but. There's a but. The thing is this. You have to make that thing in you submit to that name. Until you do that you ain't going to make right. any demon submit right. anywhere. Come on. No, you, if it's a anger problem, you have to make that thing submit to Jesus. Yeah. If it's a sickness problem, you have to make that yeah. thing submit to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that. Unless you have, can make those spirits that are harassing you, vexing you, submit to Jesus' name, it ain't going to happen with you with anybody else. Right. Give God praise. Thank you. Man, come on. Give God praise. Yeah, you know what? Because I see a devil laughing at some of you. He says, go ahead and try it because this is what it'll do. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But who are you? Who are you? And those demons knew Paul. They knew Jesus. They knew Paul. But those sons of Seba, they were just playing games. And the devil got them and beat them up, ripped their clothes off. No, man, don't play with the devil like that. As much as you're not supposed to play with God, you don't play with the devil. You understand? Look at somebody and say, don't play with the devil. Cast them out. See, look, people look at you. 
I mean, I, I hear people on YouTube talk so stupid about the devil. Oh, come on. He's a spiritual being. Yeah. He's been here as long as God has been. Yeah. Yeah. And you talk crazy about him. Not even the great archangel Michael talked anything crazy about him. Right. All he said, the Lord rebuke you. That's, right. That's all he said. Amen. That's enough. Don't be, don't mess around, man. Look at somebody say, don't mess around. Amen. Okay, again, the 70 returned with joy. This was a deliverance ministry yeah. they were experienced. Yeah. God, they stepped, yeah. you know, they stepped into a deliverance yeah. ministry and didn't even know it. Yeah. They stepped into it and they were using Jesus' name yeah. and they were finding out, oh, I like this. I can cast that devil out of that person in that name. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's awesome, man. I love it. You can cast that devil out of that person. People are going to get spooky looks. <laughs> get some spooky looks. <laughs> Remember, you got to make that spirit that's harassing you, vexing you, deceiving you, submit to that name. You all believers. And remember, your bodies are the temples yes. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. You got to tell the devil, yeah. what are you doing here? My body is a temple right. of the Holy Ghost. Who are yeah. you? Right. Who are you? Hit the road in Jesus' yeah. name. Yeah. No, you, but you got to yep. gotta do it right. Yep. Hold your finger right there. And I want you to go with me to Philippians. You got to make that thing submit to Jesus. Yeah. Come on. Praise the Lord. I sound like Sherman. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> my wife said, come on. I said, wow. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, Philippians chapter 2. Keep your finger there because i got to finish over here on that side. I hear pages flip. Philippians chapter 2. Yeah. He goes this way. Therefore, if there is, verse 1, therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, everybody say consolation. consolation. If any comfort of love, if any fellowship, everybody say fellowship. fellowship. You need to fellowship with one another. Why do you like fellowshipping with the world? That's ridiculous. Fellowship with the saints. If any fellowship, that's koinonia, the Greek, of the spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy, by being like-minded. We need to be like-minded. Yeah. Hey, right here. Like-minded. Yeah. Like-minded. Yeah. Not everyone of you is like-minded in the playoffs. <laughs> I know you ain't. Julio back there has already proven that. Like-minded, the word of God. And I see Richard smiling because his Texans won. <laughs> hey, look at Richard. Look at that smile. Look, look, okay, everybody say like-minded. Like-minded. So let me give you an example. Joe, our like-mindedness is this. We know we need to forgive people. Yeah. That we have the same mind right there. Um, our, our likeness is this. We have to walk in holiness. We, we we're like-minded about holiness. Yes. Like-minded. Uh, Scott, we have to we have to read the word of God. Yes. That being yes. like-minded. Everybody say like-minded. Like you know how much trouble that would stop? Yep. You know how much trouble that would stop if you were like-minded? Yep. Y'all got to work at that. Be yeah. like-minded. Yeah. About feeding the poor. We're all good about that yeah. here. Like-minded. Everybody say like-minded. Like-minded. Like okay? Now watch. Let, uh, let's see. Let not, let's see. According to one mind, being, being of one accord of one mind, let nothing be done through selfish ambition. Oh, man. This is Pastor Shirley's stuff. Let nothing be done through selfish ambition. I hope you don't have no selfish ambition. No, because you know what? You, you, you try to do that here, you're going to be exposed. Uh, you know, I, we have people come into the church and want to be part of it, but then they find out, we find out by the Spirit of God, they have some selfish motive. And then God just... They end up leaving. Yep. Wrong. Yep. 
No selfish ambition. We're here to please the king. That's right. So I'm here to please the king. We're here to please King Jesus. Amen. All right. Remember I told you last week, this is what the Lord told me. He said, I don't want you to have a mega church. I want you to have a mega people. Yes. A mega people. Yes. People that are strong. Yes. That can handle yep. what's coming. And a yep. lot of people, yep. I'm telling you, it's only God holding back yes. everything that is coming. On, Thank you. That Iceland volcano is just yep. part, it's just the beginning. Yep. Beginning. Yep. I don't even know if you people knew there are volcanoes in the United States yep. everywhere. Yes. Yes. And it's only God holding them. It's only God holding holding the Russians from pressing the button. Yeah. It's only God holding all those Chinese from coming yeah. to America. They're coming, but their plan is not to, their plan here to, to destroy this yeah. land. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, man, y'all, you, you yep. and y'all know the southern border. Yeah. Grandpa, grandma, babies, everything's coming. There's no more border. Right. And you know what's sickening? I was talking to George and Joe about it. What's really sickening, a lot of those people don't hate America. They don't. They just want a better life. I get it. But we got to do it. We got to do it right. Yeah. right? Yeah. But you know what's sickening is this. It's the ones that live in America that hate America. Yeah. Yeah. That's the sickening part. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to drop any names, but there are a lot of names yeah. that have said if uh, uh, President Trump is reelected, they're leaving the nation. Bye. Who needs you? Who needs you? Who needs him, Jesse? No, we don't need you. Hit the road. Go. Me and my daughter will be marching again. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All right, listen. But look at this. No self, self or conceit. Don't be conceited. But in lowliness of mind. I know it's humility. Humble. Let each Esteem others better than himself. My wife knows I'm good at that. I can esteem others big time. So we're almost going to have to get a needle and pop your bubble. I got to watch that. Because I do I do like to esteem people. But that's our job. Because one time you esteem that person, that could get a breakthrough. No, they have never heard anything good. And then all of a sudden you go to them and say something nice. Wow. You understand? Right. Be nice. Yeah, nice. Compliment somebody. Yeah. See, I compliment my wife almost every day. She can tell you. Be nice. Amen. We're Christians. Amen. I said we're Christians. Yes. Amen. Let each of you look out, not only for his own interest. That's that's also me. I, I want to see you develop. I want to see you go into ministry. I want to see Ezekiel and Lorena go to Mexico or Stephen Connie go to Iceland. I don't know. Somewhere. I want to see my lovely wife again take a team of ladies Amen. to destroy the devils in Florida. Yes. That was... I'll never forget that. That was God, man, all the way. Yes, I want to see the prophetic ministry develop and stir up in this man, God, right here. Amen. That God would give him a word to help somebody. You don't know, man. Right. You don't know. See, George and Liz go to, I don't know, Africa, Peru, Haiti. See, God knows in your heart if you don't want to go nowhere, you ain't going nowhere. Right. But you have to allow God to yeah. You have yeah. to allow God to prompt you. You can't just go just to go. You have to hear God in your heart. What purpose? You going for your own purpose or you going for the kingdom purpose? Kingdom purpose. Man. How I know that is. Now watch what he says. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Oh man, I'm already going past 12. Wow. All right, one more scripture then we'll pray. Because I want to go back to this again. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And how, how is that done? It's done by renewing of the mind daily. You, how, many, how many at least read a scripture a day? Let me see your hands. One, one scripture. You're renewing your mind. 
And that's another thing. If you would renew your mind, you, you would see change. Amen. Amen. Stand up. Part one. Part one. Part one. <laughs> Maybe it'll was... No, I can say. Take somebody by the hand. Take somebody by the hand. We're gonna pray. You guys be careful going home. People getting stuck inside, cold. Don't be going outside if you don't have to be outside. Don't be like those fools at the football game last night, man. With no shirt on, man. Guys, I know, they're all crazy. Guys standing with no shirt on. I mean, tell me, probably went to the hospital, man. I don't know. Okay, remember, listen to the word. Follow through with the word. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Everybody, Father, in the name of Jesus. I believe. I believe. I've been called. I've been called. For a purpose. For a purpose. And your plan. And your plan. In these last days. In these last days. I thank you for your patience. I thank you for your patience. Towards me, Lord. Towards me, Lord. Lord, I want to please you. Lord, I want to please you. I'm tired of pleasing myself. I'm tired of pleasing myself. Lord, I want to do. Lord, I want to do. What you want me to do. What you want me to do. I want to fulfill, I want to fulfill the, plans and purposes the plans and purposes of the kingdom of God, of kingdom while, of God. while I'm still alive. I want to win souls, want to souls. Into, the of God. into the kingdom of God. I want to cast out devils, cast out devils. for the kingdom of God. I want to heal the sick. Lord, it's because you told us we could do this. Give us the revelation. And the, and the understanding. I don't want to be a mediocre Christian. I want to be a Christian that is sold out. Filled with the fire of God. Filled with the word of God. For the glory of God. It's all for your glory, Lord. Lord, help me to have an ear. The Holy Spirit. In a proper way, God. God, I thank you. I will not be swayed. I will stay in the middle of the word of God. God, I thank you so much for what you're about to do with me. What you're about to do through me. God, in Jesus' name, I pray. Hold your hands up now. I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you for this congregation. Man, God, I love this congregation. One of the greatest congregations on the planet. And Father, I thank you as I pray to the Lord of the harvest. There are laborers in this congregation that are going to go across the sea, yeah. across the state lines. They're going to go across yeah. and do the work of Jesus. And they will return with great joy. Yeah. Father God, I thank you for the congregation that they will function as a true believer. And Lord, those that are not here, that wanted to be here, God, we just pray for them also. Lord, may they take this word today and apply it to their lives. For you told us to be doers of the word, yes. not just hearers. Yes. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray divine protection over this precious congregation. May they go home safely. May they just stay in a warm house, God, and just, just be taken care of. Let them be full of joy today as we depart from this place. I speak the blessing of the Lord over all of them. Watch them on the highway. Give them a good week until we meet again in Jesus' name. Amen. Go preach somebody.